Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm gonna to show you uh, how to stream uh, from your Mac to Twitch or YouTube or anything like that uh, using the OBS, which is a free software, and then also using another piece of software called Soundflower. Both are free. I'll drop the links down in the description box below. So this was just released not too long ago, uh, this version of OBS for Mac, but it works perfectly. I've been using it and I wanna show you how to do that. So first and foremost, you gotta have those two apps. Go ahead and download those now and then once you do that go ahead and open up OBS the app will look like it does on the Windows side of things just that little circular there I put it down in my dock and then once you do that you're going to see a few different things so this here is my scene that I'm using now for twitch okay so with that scene there I have a video capture device which is the webcam you're looking at here I'm not looking at that monitor but if I look over here you're seeing that I'm looking at my webcam uh, so we got that there and then the image is just the little overlay that I have there with the blue and green and then the display capture is actually capturing stuff over on this side of my screen. I actually have two monitors and I recommend if you're going to do this, if you're going to stream on Twitch, you need to have two monitors. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier. You don't have to, uh, but if you uh, want to do it well, I think you probably uh, need two monitors. So anyways, let's move on. So I'm going to show you how to set this thing up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to tutorial scene, which is a new scene that I've created here. So go and hit the green edition symbol there under scenes. And then once you've done that, select that scene and then under the sources this is where you're going to add all of your overlays your webcam and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get that set up now so the first thing you want to do is add a video capture device if you have a webcam uh, but the first thing we're gonna do is go to display capture once you do that it'll say create new display capture one and then hit OK once you do that if you see here, it's capturing this monitor. So I'm actually gonna go over here and go to the other display, my other monitor, and that shows you there. So once I have that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that, and I now have that display up and running. Anything I do over here on this display will be streamed out to uh, Twitch or wherever I'm doing it. Next, we're gonna add a video capture device. This video capture device is going to be your webcam. So go up here to create new video capture device. You can even put you know, webcam if you wanna do that, and then hit Okay. Once we've done that, it'll say what device do you want to use? And then I have my Logitech webcam. There it is. Hey, how are you doing? And then once you've done that, just close out of that. Once you do that, you can go and adjust the size of that. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to be uh, whatever size I want it to be. Put it in the corner, put it up here, wherever you want to put it. And then once you've done that, you have your webcam set up. And you can even move that within the stream. So when you're streaming live, you can actually move that uh, all around the screen. So once we've done that, we're, we're then wanting to add an image overlay like what I had. I can go up to image. And then once I do that, I'll call it my overlay. And then once I do that, I'll hit OK. Next, it's going to ask me to browse my computer and find it. So I'm going to go to uh, where I know it is under my Twitch folder here if I can find it really quickly. There it is. And then I'll click that. And that is my overlay. And then I'll close out of that. And then I will drag that to be uh, all the way across the screen. And then as you see there, it's, it's overlapping on my webcam so I can even drag the webcam up here. So now you can see the overlay plus the webcam. So you can always adjust all of that on the fly. Now the next few steps are very important. So you wanna make sure that you do this. Now once we've got all of that set up, go to settings, which is right here. So go to settings and you're going to need to follow this exactly. Under general, the language needs to be English or whatever your language is. And then the stream will be, you can you know stream via Twitter Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, and all of the other uh, more popular streaming services. You then can choose a server uh, wherever one is closer, you know, closest to you. Uh, actually, I guess for me, Chicago would be closer than than the one I had set up there. And then find your stream key. If you don't know where to find your stream key, go to your Twitch page or whatever it may be, uh, and then go to settings. And then once you do that, you'll you'll find your stream key. If you need to know how to do that, put a comment in the box below, and I'll do a separate video on that. But anyways, leave that the way you want it, and then go to output. Under output, this is where you're, if you have it set to actually record, it'll output the videos to a certain location on your desktop. And then audio, this is very important. This is where the difficult, not really difficult, but this is where it gets a little iffy. All right, so you need to download a Soundflower. So if you do not have Soundflower downloaded at this point, go ahead and download it now. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you're going to see something up here uh, in your menu bar that looks like a little flower. Click on that. 
Now what you're going to want to do is under the Soundflower 2 channel, which is the in parentheses there, you'll want to say built-in output. So you'll want to use that as your built-in output. So do that with Soundflower just like that. So what that means is under back under the OBS settings, you can go to desktop audio device and you'll select Soundflower. That way the viewers who are viewing your stream will be able, able to hear the audio coming from your computer from the game or whatever you're doing. And then once you've done that, the mic or auxiliary audio device one, which is right here, I have my uh, 2i2 uh, audio interface, which my uh, microphone is plugged into, so I have that selected, but this is where you're just going to select your microphone. And then under video, this all depends on your internet uh, you know, connectivity, how good that is, uh, but I always use mine to uh, 1920 by 1080, which is the best it can be, and then you can adjust the uh, FPS to, depending on the games that you may be playing. Once you've done that, you hit OK. Now, once you have done all of that, you've downloaded the two programs, you've got the scene set up, you, my friend, are ready to stream to a service. All you have to do after that is go to start streaming, and then once you do that, you will be live and ready to roll on Twitch from your Mac. Uh, and again, it's just so easy to do. Uh, and then if you need to remove any of these sources, you can click on those. So if I want to remove the overlay, I can click on that and then hit the red minus symbol. Uh, and then it says, are you sure you want to remove it? I'll hit yes, and then it is gone forever. So anyways, guys, uh, uh, let me know what you thought about this video if it helped you out. Help me out by slapping that like button. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. It's over twitch.tv slash technology guru. Uh, I do play some games over there uh, from time to time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more technology tutorials and content and news and gaming stuff. Uh, and share it with your friends and family. And I will see you guys next time.